trigonometry double angles. We have to prove that 1 sine 2a equals 2 sine a cos b, part 2 cos 2a equals cos squared a minus sine squared a, and part 3 tan 2a equals 2 tan a over 1 minus tan squared a. Now these are quite easy little proofs. We know from a previous video that sine of a plus b equals sine a cos b plus cos a sine b, so we simply replace the b with a. So you can see here that we've got that uh, putting the a in there we get sine 2a, putting the a in here we get cos a, and putting the a in here we get this sine a. Now cos a sine a is the same as sine a cos a, so sine 2a equals 2 sine a cos a. Now in part 2 it's the same sort of thing. We know that cos a plus b equals cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. Again, let b equals a, put the a here and the a here. We get cos a cos a minus sine a sine a. But cos a times cos a is cos squared a, and sine a times sine a is minus sine squared a. Now, there's a variation of this formula. We know that cos squared a plus sine squared a equals 1. So changing this across the other side, we get cos squared a equals 1 minus sine squared a. Uh, we know that sine squared a equals 1 minus cos squared a. Now in the uh, cos 2a identity, we can replace the sine squared a here with 1 minus cos squared a, giving the result 2 cos squared a minus 1 when we remove the brackets and collect like terms. Also we know that cos 2a can be, is equal to 1 minus sine squared a, replacing the cos squared a with the 1 minus sine squared a, and then removing the brackets we get 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And these are quite important little identities. And finally, the last one, we know that tan a plus b equals tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b. Again, simply replacing the b with the a, we get tan a plus tan a over 1 minus tan a tan a. Now tan a plus tan a is 2 tan a, and tan a tan a is tan squared a, which gives you the, the final result of the three uh, double angles. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching.